What is going on everybody? Noah with Madison Angling. I am on the Wisconsin River today with my buddy Tristan of Riverway Angling Guide Service. We are at the Prairie du Sac Dam if you can't guess by what's behind us here. And the name of the game today is Blade Baits. We are snapping blade baits for walleyes and we've got a few drop shots out because the current is almost non-existent and that's an awesome way to catch a bunch more contingency fish while you're jigging. So I also have to give a shout out to my buddy Nick Faust, Faust Rods. Uh, Nick actually made me this rod. This is a basically a custom built snap jigging rod that I use for plastics, blade baits, jigging wraps, all that stuff. So kind of the rig we're running here, this is a seven foot uh, medium power, extra fast. It has a super, super fast tip to it, which is key for getting a good action on your blade baits. I've got 15 pound braid, and on the business end, we're running a variety of blade baits, but my absolute favorite is the Vibrations Tackle Echo Tail. And if you guys have never seen these before, they're super cool. It's a local company, so be sure to check them out. But this is a quarter ounce. We're also using half and three quarter ounces. And what's really cool is there's a series of holes on the top of the bait there that allow you to change the action of the bait. And obviously there is a plastic tail on here. There is a barbed tail section on the back of the bait that allows you to switch out plastic tails. So you can kind of custom tune your bait to whatever situation you happen to be fishing. So we got some drop shots rolling. We got blade baits popping. We're going to catch some December walleyes here on the Wisconsin River. All right, so there are a couple different ways you can work a blade bait. So right now I'm fishing vertical, obviously. And the key to fishing blade baits, at least for me, is a quick snap upwards and a controlled descent. So we are fishing in cold water, so we're really looking for more of a reaction bite. So I want that thing to go zipping up real fast, real quick off the bottom, real erratic. And then I want to slowly control the fall. Most of the time they're going to eat it either on the drop or right when it hits the bottom and you go to snap, there's a fish on it and that acts as your hook set. So fishing vertical, I just give it a hard pop, let it slowly fall. I control the descent of the bait with the rod tip. And I'm also watching the rod tip. A lot of times you're going to see the rod jump when they hit it but it seems like more times than not, they actually hit it right as it hits the bottom. So you may not actually feel it. So having that quick snap, not only triggers bites and calls fish in, but that also acts as your hook set. The other way that I like to fish these is casting. So we'll give it a quick little cast here. Let it fall down to the bottom. Shouldn't take too long. It's pretty shallow right there. Okay, there's the bottom. So I'll give it a quick snap up, reel the slack. Tristan's hooked up. He's got a nice perch. There we go. Maybe I should go back to fishing vertical. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Thanks for interrupting. So anyway, uh, let the bait hit the bottom. Quick pop of the rod, reel the slack, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, hit the bottom. Quick pop, reel the slack, let it fall, let it fall. And you'll notice when I'm letting this thing fall, I'm letting it fall on a tight line. That way I'm actually going to be able to feel bites. If you're letting it fall on a slack line, you're going to miss a lot of fish. And that's about it. So I think I'm gonna go back to fishing vertical since that seems to be working pretty well. We're gonna get some fish rolling here. I don't like that. Here we go. Hey, vertical jigging is where it's at. Nice walleye. Not too shabby. No, that's what we're after right there. Some vertical jigging and Nice one. That's not bad at all. No. Let's see if we can get a few more like that one. Heck yeah. All right. Uh oh. That's Buffy. I don't know. Yeah. No, smallmouth. Nice smallmouth. No, I'll flip them. I got him. I got him. That's a nice smallmouth. Big up here. Nice, that is not what you expect. In December, holy cow. Look at this thing. I know, you saw the picture of the- Dude. The other day. We caught some big smallies up there. That is a stud. Hang on, buddy, hang on, hang on. I know, you got treble hooks all over, just hang on a second. This is 
your, uh, your video right here. Hang on, dude. I know. Surprise. It's kind of funny. They have, like, such a delayed reaction to fighting. I would just grab him, but he's hooked. Right in the corner, right in the bottom where I want to grab him. There we go. Look at that thing. That is not at all. Oh, and we got a nice, <laughs> we got a nice perch too. Look at that thing. That is not really what you expect to catch on a blade bait here in the fall, but the echo tail in disco. A beautiful Wisconsin River Smalley. Cool. Not a giant. Actually, that's a pretty decent one. That is on one of the new... Ooh, he's tagged, I think. Is that a tag? I can't tell. Dude, stop. Ordinarily, I would boat flip you. Yeah, he does have a tag. Ordinarily, I would boat flip you, but this rod is a little light. There you go. <laughs> that is not a bad fish right there. That is on the Eagle Claw Pro V-Bend Jig. That is a 8th ounce Pro V-Bend Jig with a fathead minnow just chilling on the bottom. That is a nice, nice looking fish. And he's got a tag on him. He is fish number 608-574-2604. W-I-D-N-R Dodgeville 0125. So I'm guessing that's the phone number. That's the fish. 0125. That is a beautiful fish. In fact, is there anywhere I can measure this real quick? Buried underneath everything. We're going to measure this quick and I'm actually going to call this fish in and let him know how long it is. What a beautiful fish. That's a nice one. Okay. We are struggling. 17. Right at 17 and a quarter. 17 and a quarter. Nice. Okay. Ready? All right, buddy. See you later. 17 and a quarter, number 0125. Cool. All right. Awesome. Like I mentioned before, I actually just had this chilling in a rod holder right next to our drop shot rods. This is just a eighth ounce Eagle Claw Pro V-Bend Jig, and I just had a fathead minnow on it, got a medium light rod, and just kind of letting it chill, kind of the same, same kind of situation as we have rolling on the drop shots. So just something a little different. The bite is a little bit slower today, so we're giving them a few finesse options, and then the blade baits are kind of our reaction strike, force them to eat option. So always good to have a couple different programs running if you're not totally sure what's going to get them to go. Uh-oh. Oh. That's big. That's very big. That's huge, yes. Now it knows it's hooked. That's big. No. I was literally reeling this in. I don't really know how much line I have on this reel. It's a fast fish. Whatever you are. You are not what I'm trying to catch. But you are very big. Can you see it? No. I don't know what this is. If it's a buffy, it's a big one. Come here, friend. No, nope. going to the bottom. You just never know what you're gonna run into at the dam. We got a dinosaur. Kind of inevitable. It's going to happen if you spend any time at all fishing here. Just to clarify to everybody, it is not 
against the law to handle these, I would probably bring those up. It is in those lines. It is not against the law to handle these fish. It is against the law to target them and to keep them. But if you have a situation like this, oftentimes it is better to try to remove the hook safely from the fish. You can get a quick picture, a quick video, whatever, as long as you're not hurting the fish and get it right back in the water. Not a big deal. But you should always check with your local game wardens, make sure it's okay. Not what we're after, but it was kind of bound to happen sooner or later if you're yeah. fishing any kind of a blade bait or even just a jig. There are so many of them, it, it happens. You're gonna hook one, but that was a fun fight anyway. Nick, yeah. your rod's pretty tough. If it can handle that, it can probably handle just about anything, so. All right, well, that was fun. Yeah. Thanks for the release. Cool. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Come on, open up, buddy. Nice one. Another nice one there. All flared up, a little concerned. <laughs> oh, very nice. nice. Sweet. Walleye! Walleye can't believe it. Wouldn't you know? I'm just gonna stand completely in your way while you hoist that fish that's way too big to be flipping in. Oh no. Come here, friend. Bye, fam. Oh, crappie. <laughs> things thank you buddy alrighty guys that is gonna wrap up our video for today had some fun out here on the river thank you again Tristan for taking me out always a good time in Tristan's boat if you guys want to get out and do this I will have Tristan's info in the description below and I also guide on this part of the river so if you want to get out one of the two of us can get you on the river and what's really cool is a lot of people are kind of putting their boats away right now because it's December people are getting ready for ice fishing this bite keeps going all winter long into the spring so as long as you can get your boat in the ramp safely you can get out here and catch fish and as things cool down even more the fish tend to get even more concentrated and you can come out here and legitimately catch two to oh, three yeah. hundred fish on the yeah. right day we've both done it it's crazy uh so yeah and i, I gotta add I'm actually very impressed with the size, the average size of the fish we caught. We didn't catch any giants. If we wanted to go catch some really big ones, you will probably go on the other side of the dam and go look for some slot fish. But overall, I'd say like, you know, 16 to kind of 17 knocking on 18 inch average today was pretty That's decent. For here, yeah, it's, it's good to see. It's good. Yeah, and it sounds like, at least Tristan made it sound like, the DNR is actually kind of looking into doing some more management style yep. stuff. And they tagged a bunch of fish out here. We caught one today. So it's cool being out here. You can catch plenty of, you know, tagged fish. And it's cool to see how that, how they progress as the uh, fishery grows and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so hopefully even better things to come on this particular stretch of the river. But again, if you guys want to get out and do this, I will have Tristan's info below, or you can come out with me, either one of us or both. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys are out taking advantage of some fun fall fishing. And we will see you guys on the next video.